hola and shalom and if you're watching this on a saturday shabbat shalom i'm rebellia and we are back with some more crash landing and as promised today we plan are going to work on the smeltery and high oven and all that fun stuff um now i've done a few updates while since the last episode i've moved the pressure chamber over here and you'll notice i've got a couple of blocks missing out of it but that's on purpose because I'm going to try to see if I can do those um, doors on either side to um, help with that. I've made the walls a little taller and I did a little cutout right here for an another door when we get a chance. I might have to move this over by one. That's, I didn't realize I was going to be so close. Dang it. Okay. Um, anyway, I'm going to be putting a door over here and pretty much midway in every wall. I've done a little dugout right here for the smeltery. So we're going to put the smeltery here. The high oven is going to go way down here. And then somewhere around here is going to be the deep tank. Uh, that is also part of this mod. Um, as you can see, I've had my, uh, <laughs> my seed plants growing for my plastics. Um, we're still sifting quite a bit there. I did manage to... Um, make a door and it's perfectly working as you can see now the really cool part i want to show you guys is not only did i extend the walls but i also um, made these glowstone glass fences they are so awesome not only are they harder to see and everything and but i mean they work just like regular fences you can't jump on them so that keeps you from falling off, keeps the spiders from crawling up, but they also light up the area, which is awesome. And um, then of course I'm making this path. This is also glowstone. I just used the chisel on it. Um, now I have not completed all the way around, which because I ran out of glowstone. Oh my gosh, there's so much glowstone. Okay, so this is the other thing I wanted to show you guys. Right up here, if you look, door is right there and it goes out you know, right under here but these two spots I made to act kind of like runways because we have the those hang gliders and I thought that would be so awesome to where we can just take off from up here we never have to go in and out of the doors or anything like that and it, it's really really neat now Real quick before I get started, let me jump down here. I widened this little area out, that way mobs can just get up. Um, but I've made it high enough to where spiders can't jump up on here and then climb up. Uh, and as long as we're not trying to take off at night, we shouldn't have a problem with them crawling around and over. So, um, yeah. And then if you look under here, this glowstone actually lights this area up so that mobs won't be spawning. So see, they can't spawn before they get here. So that part's pretty neat. Um, so here's our door. You just press this button, it opens up, and then it recloses. It's really, really cool. This button does the same thing. So we are really good here. Um, got me a jungle. Whoop. Satin. stay there grow um start on the garden uh i haven't put this in any specific order or anything yet because i didn't have very many plants and i was running low on food so i was just trying to get some growing so the stuff is growing a lot faster out here than it does in the ship which i figure is probably because it has access to sunlight um then I grew some jungle trees. I'm still trying to grow more because uh, this is actually how it's going to look where it's this high. And then you got a little gap here and then it's going to go high again. Um, but these are all, of course, cocoa beans and you got to have the jungle wood to plant them. I've got my sugar cane here. Now the water is actually under these little plates, these covers. Oh, that's outside the wall. Okay. So, but yeah, these two sets of stairs, this one here and that one on that corner, I've extended up to go with the higher wall, but the ones down on the opposite, opposite corners, I have not um, 
extend it up yet. Kind of ran out of time. <laughs> so, oh, let me find my quest book because I dropped it somewhere and I'm not exactly sure where I put it. Um, and uh, I need to find. I'll just grab some pages. I need to grab a little more food. And let me check my bag actually. Here's my quest book. As you can see, I had a lot of stuff going on. So, quest book. I want to check these under pressure quests. And yeah, this is the one I'm trying to do. I have to make two of these pressure chamber interfaces. I think we had almost made everything um, for them. Here they are. Okay, so we need the compressed iron. We need four. No, we need two of these. Cool. I don't have to do double resources. All right, we made all of these. We needed this plastic, the blue plastic, which I think, yeah, we've got it. So let me is this stuff in here. No, I left it all in here, didn't I? Yep. There we go. Uh, I've got the hopper. Uh, I think that was all I needed. Okay, so these go over like this. These go here, and this goes here. We need two. Okay, now let's put that there. That way I can see where everything goes. Okay, what in the world is that? Elevator frame. Ooh, they've got elevators in this. Oh, I forgot about that. Um, yeah, we're going to have to check that out. Um... I might put those next to the uh, doors so that we can jump up on the wall on top of the doors uh, really fast instead of having to go to the corners to get to the stairs. Okay, so now we've got this. Now, if I remember right, input is from outside going in and then output is inside going out. So that means we should be able to play something like that. Yep, looks that way. doesn't say, but um, I'm guessing that would be correct. All right, so uh, I did leave one window here so we can see how the stuff's going. So we will mess with that in a bit. Let's go get our uh, seared bricks and make our smeltery. So, all right, I did smash all of the um, crumbling stuff into the bricks that way we didn't have to worry about that and actually that one i'm really behind because it's not one that looks nice all right um Okay, so here we go. Um, I'm just going to make a little 3x3 three because three, we're going to have a tank over here, which means we don't have to worry about storing a bunch of it. So the controller is going to go there. Um, and here's our bricks. There's that. Here's our tank. Which I'm going to make another one of these. I'm one of these. I've got to have symmetry or it drives me nuts. Um, okay, looks like we need to take these bricks and make some more, Ooh, excuse me, plus we need to make uh, that other tank anyway, so, get right here, I believe that was one piece of glass, surrounded by this, yeah, there's our tank. Now, <laughs> I think I drove my husband nuts with this, but... I don't like making these regular um, bricks for the walls. I actually like making, what is it? It's not the window in this. Okay, it'd be the gauge, I guess. Yeah. I like the newer ones where you can actually make others, but I. Okay. 
this goes like that. And these go like so. So there's some. And I have some of this glass here. And that. And get another one. Okay. That should be enough. Oh, I need another drain. Crap, I don't have any more bricks. Oh well. That's what the high oven's for. Alright. Because um, you can't make the grout in this, but you can make the bricks. So I'll show you guys that in a little bit. Alright. So this, I think, is really, really neat. See, it counts as the walls, so this now works. But the cool thing is it also acts like a window, because you can see right through them. And these also act as tanks. Uh, a lot of people don't realize it, but you can actually set this up where you have like an automatic uh, uh, lava production, and have pipes that pipe into these glass blocks and once these two tanks empty out it will start using the lava out of these other tanks so you don't have to replace your lava near as often and I think that's why I drive my husband nuts with it because I'm always trying to I guess take the lazy way out but to me it just makes sense okay so there's that now do I want a table or a basin I think I'll go with the table. The table would make more sense because then I can get the ingots and all that. Now I do have in here, I have one piece of grout um, that I can use to make the one ingot that I will need for making the ingot cast. So we're going to do that. And did I start my timer? Yes, I did. Okay. <laughs> All right. Put that in there. Grab these other bottles, actually. And that way we can fill our water back up. So I don't want to die first. I want to leave. is done and we're also going to need some gold which we have some plenty <laughs> um, and then we're also going to need some lava crap all right so while we're waiting on the lava production uh, let's go ahead and figure out um, how to do this high oven. Okay, so we have the controller, we have a drain and a duct, and we have the deep tank controller. I didn't realize we already had that. Oh wait, that's right, we crafted that. Duh. I promise, I'm okay. Uh, hmm, let me just toss some of this in here. So the high oven is a bit different, and in this mod pack you need the high oven in order to um, make the seared bricks that you need to expand your smeltery. Um, right now let me get my torches. It's a lot easier to count with the torches. All right, so we'll see. Then we'll two spaces. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right, that's where I want my high oven or my deep tank to be. So and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right.
Okay, so that square is where the high oven is going, or dang it, I keep saying high oven, where the deep tank is going to be. And then the high oven is going to be over here. I want two blocks in between, so and I don't need anything on the back. And so let me grab my bricks. I'm just gonna go ahead and use some cracked bricks. Okay. Had enough of it. Ah, seriously? Oh, this is going to drive me nuts. Still good for symmetry, so yeah, there that will work. And we can use things like this. And then have the control right here. And then we need our duct right here. Cracked ones there and there. And then we need the train to go here. So there's our high oven. You can actually make it a 3x3x3, three by three by three, but the larger you go, the more slots you get. So this, the main fuel is charcoal blocks. So and the fuel goes here, and I'm still learning what each of these symbols actually mean. There's like low carbon and a couple other things. These are your main blocks. And if you put cobble here with nothing in these slots, then and get it heated up it will make the seared stone that you need and you can pour it out onto a table and uh, make your seared bricks that you need in order to expand your smeltery so we've got that now um, also if you put regular bricks on the seared table and then pour the seared stone over it you will make the scorched bricks Still doesn't give me very much. I'm gonna pick some of it. Where's my juicer? It's in here? Yeah. So then, coconuts. Make some coconut milk. Oh, there we go. Ah, my hunger is going down like crazy in this game. Probably because I'm trying to do so much. All right, so now we've got that all settled. Um, Truthfully, these can go ahead and be turned into bricks because I'm going to need them for the deep tank. There we go. And I'm trying to think. Oh yeah, we need the D charcoal blocks. That's what it was. That won't be a problem at all. There we go. So that'll be that. And let's go ahead and get another stack of coal fire. Okay. I missed this one. Okay, so let's run back over here. And actually, just to be safe. I know I don't have any uh, glowstone up here yet. Yeah, we don't have to worry about anything spawning up there. Okay. All right. One piece of cobble. I forgot. This thing uses basically a redstone signal. So you have to make a lever, 
and then you can put the leather like here, flip it on, and now it's working. So this will heat up to about 2,000 degrees Celsius, and the, that's about as hot as it goes that I know of. And the hotter it quit, gets, the quicker all of this will melt, or smelt, or whatever you want to call it. So while that is doing that, let's go check on our lava. And hopefully it is done. If it's not, we're going to be screwed. Ah, good, we got it. Okay, there's our lava. Now we got to try being careful with this. Give me that. Okay. Um, just the cobble. Do that. And that's how I've been expanding my plants. <laughs> All right, so lava goes there. Grab our other crucible and set it here. Um, I don't think I have any cobble. Oh, I do have it. Nice. All right, so there's that. Let me throw a hopper on top. That way it'll keep making lava. Um. And once we get enough materials, I'm going to make some fluid ducts for that. Now you might be trying to remind me that the, I have these fluid ducts, but the heck, excuse me, the heck of it is if you hold shift, cannot, uh, contents can't be seen, transfers fluids, rate varies depending on the fluid, install a pneumatic server. Okay, no. ah. okay, normally when I deal with these, it says if the contents are too hot, that they will break. So, conduit, or not conduit, duct, flip ducts. Okay, here's what we made. Huh. Interesting. So in the newer ones, you have to worry about the uh, temperature. In these older versions, you don't. Okay. Okay, I stand corrected. We have the stuff to do this. <laughs> um, and then I also need one more hopper. I don't have the hopper readily available. But you know what? For now, I'll just take this one. And... Do I have... No, I don't. I got plenty of wood for days. <laughs> Let's see... Uh, let me just want to make a double chest for uh, putting cobble into. that. Crap, I forgot the servos. It's okay. I will be back to get them shortly. Okay. So we should click that on there. Throw our chest up there. Throw in all our hobble. So there's our auto lava production. Okay, I don't... Alright, we don't have any lava yet. I mean, we've got half a bucket in each, but that's not enough. Okay, uh, let's go see how this is smelting down. Okay, we've got a quarter of a of a quarter of a bucket. So, oh, it does go above two thousand. All right. Well, as you can see, this is smelting like way faster. So, that part's good. Now, the point of these ducts here is you can actually. Um, this will determine what slot it goes into. So like this is the fuel. This is your ingot slot. So you can actually get a bunch of cobble, like I'm fixing to do. Because I want to be able to expand that smeltery pretty high. And uh, you can actually use that to automatically input stone or whatever into the thing. 
Uh, my brain is not helping at all. I need to get some more food again. Gosh. And no, I did not cheat that meal in. I will show you how to make it here in just a minute. I know some people are probably screaming at me that I cheated. No, I didn't. I promise. Okay. Oop. Nope. Don't want it there. Going there. Okay, so that's doing good. I actually meant for most of that to go in that. But it's okay. okay, now we got a bucket of lava. Throw that in there. Throw the gold in. Alright, so now we got that smelting. Oh, let's run over here and make some more food since I'm needing it anyway. Um, so we need lemons, fish, mayo, which is just juicing eggs, um, and then I think it was flour, which you can use rice or wheat or barley, whatever. And then you need a skillet, which the skillet is two iron ingots like that with a stick. So, uh, rice with the mortar and pestle makes flour. Then you can put the skillet here, flour, fish, lemons, and mayo. And there's your fish dinner. So that gives us five of those. Um, let's stick these in here. And let me grab a little bit of fruit. Here we go. And then some grapes. And I throw, yeah, there we go. So then what we can do, take our cutting board, our mixing bowl, on our fruit, make us some fruit salads. Now I know a lot of you might be having problems with that being uh, ate too many times, which I have. You can actually take grapes, mix it in, and it makes a grape salad, which is completely different and kind of helps <laughs> prolong <laughs> your food. Alright, so let's throw the cobble in there. So we got another bucket of lava. Take that, throw, throw that in there. <laughs> Try to put my fish in there. All right, so now we've got a bunch of gold. So we right click on that. And now we have an ingot cast. Oh, and this one we get to keep the brick. Yay. I didn't know we could do that. All right, so we've got that all figured out. Um, and actually, we need to get a bunch of sand to put in here and make this deep tank. So, this here. That's the seven. Okay. Now, the cool thing is this just needs to be outlined. It doesn't need to be filled in like the uh, smeltery and the the high oven, so. The, I mean, it needs to be filled in, but you don't have to fill it in with the bricks. And so. Uh, right now. I plan to, um, make this as tall as the walls. Because the bigger you make it, uh, the more fluids it can hold. Now I will say that the um, you can make it as small as a three by three, or you can go up to an eleven by eleven. But the height limit, the build limit, is your height limit. So you can make it as tall as you want, but it's got to be either a three wide by three long or an eleven wide by eleven long, somewhere between those two measurements. So. Basically what you do after you get done with this, because I'm going to complete this off camera, my, my timer just went off. Uh, so you can use any kind of glass you choose. 
Uh, you can smelt, make regular glass, you can make clear glass with the smeltery, which is my plan, or use seared glass, or just whatever. You fill in the bottom and the sides, and then you make, basically you make this entire frame on top as well, and you fill in all six sides with glass. Now you can, you're also going to want to put a drain in somewhere. Uh, this does not use the ducts, but you will need the drain, and I'm going to break this one out real quick so I can throw the controller in. There we go. Uh, but once you do that, then, uh, like I say, you put your drains in, and that way you can input and uh, export fluids in and out of the tank. Um, but, yeah. Once you do that, you will have a working tank that does not require any kind of fuel. It will not mix the, your, your metals. It will just hold them. So you can put, um, say, iron and nickel, which normally in a smeltery would make invar. You can put them both in here and they will not mix. You would actually have to take them out and put them in the smeltery or the alloy smelter or whatever, something like that in order to mix the alloys. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's just a really good storage uh, idea. So that's why I'm making it. Let's see how our seared stone is doing. It's doing good. So, all right, well, that's going to have to do it for this episode. Like I say, I'll finish this off camera. But uh, I think we're doing good. We, ah, no, fire. Oh, wait, I'm going to do a little bit of this off camera. So... Uh, you guys all have fun, experiment, work with it, you know. If you have any questions about the, the smeltery, the high oven, or the uh, deep tank, shoot me a comment, and I will see if I can answer the question. If I don't know it, I'll find a link to someone who does. So, yeah, uh, I will. Uh, you guys have fun, and I'll see you in the next episode.